If you go back into history, off the back of sheep did this nation become wealthy and the Cunningham Pier where all the wool, all the wool on the eastern side used to go somewhere in the world. And then you went to the manufacturing era and the wheel has turned and that all of that line processing, manufacturing, where there was little value add, where people stood and did things, that whole, gener that whole wheel has gone, all of that has gone somewhere else. We're a very expensive, highly educated, um, population and a small population where we have no scale and we have no markets close to where we are. So now the next generation in a machine age, we're going to have to be smarter. What are we adding? Where is the value we are adding to whatever it is that we are doing or we are making? And that's where the university comes in. How are we contributing with, first of all, producing people with relevant employability skills? Um, for this next generation, for thinking about some of the industries of the future. So for example, um, our carbon fibre at Warm Ponds, you know, the aluminium of the next generation, graphene, how are we taking weight out of everything we do? So that's where our contribution is, is educating the next generation and then doing the research that matters to the community we serve. We have a schools project in Geelong um, where we're looking to link all of the schools, all of the secondary schools, 40,000 students from their school into, the, into our net via Deakin. And we see that as quite an interesting innovation around education. Retention rates are about between 65 and 67%. Get on the train and one hour into Melbourne and the retention rate goes to 82%. Well, we all know that intelligence is randomly distributed. So what are the inhibitors in Geelong that are keeping people from, from completing at school. Why are they leaving in years 9 and 10 and 11 and not getting themselves a VCE? When we know the next generation requires skills. You've got to have skills to get jobs. The next set of jobs are high skilled, ICT in particular, the science, engineering and particularly mathematics, coding skills. Coding skills are going to be the, the, writing, the reading and writing of the future. So in Geelong, Deakin has uber uber you know our net bandwidth but some of our schools some of the things that they want to do it's very pixelated they can't have anything data heavy in the classroom that means a lot of the things that we give them they can't run in the classroom because they simply don't have the bandwidth so this this particular project is to connect all of the schools private and public the advantaged schools and the disadvantaged schools level that playing field so everybody has access to fast, flexible, very accessible capacity of connectivity so they can do everything that they want in terms of media, in terms of Wi-Fi for staff, the teachers in the school and those 40,000 students. And my goal, my personal KPI for Geelong is to move that 65, 67 to 75, 78. That's what we must do. Those number of students coming into the marketplace who are skilled, who can code, particularly coding, will be valuable in terms of the next economy for Geelong and what it will do for its own wealth generation.